What's up, everybody? So, ooh, recently I sat down with a friend of mine, Joe Sassu, from J Sassu Photography. Joey is a wedding photographer. Uh, he also does engagements and events and things like that, but he's mostly known for his wedding photography. We're going to sit and talk about some of his photos that he's taken. Cool thing about Joey is he takes uh, pretty normal and basic wedding photos and he really puts his artistic and creative spin on it. So we're going to dive into that, his creative process, how he does specific things. So we're lit. Let's get going. Just jump All right. into it. So the first photo we're looking at is from Gracie's wedding, which was last year in, uh, in Jersey, not Jersey, it was outside of Philadelphia. Um, so with, with all my weddings, most of them, most weddings kind of follow a similar timeline. You have your things you have to do, your getting ready portion, your ceremony, your cocktail hour, um, reception, things like that. So I try to find a way, um, at least during the morning and the middle portion in the evening to find a way to really, you know, tell a story without having to, to do too much. Um, this photo here, is mostly in the moment. I try to find a way to take candids and not really interrupt the day as it's happening. Sometimes you have to kind of, you know, guide people certain places. But most of the time, I try to get a candid in the moment as it happens. Um, this photo here, this actually is mostly in the moment. Like I said before, Gracie, as you can see in the middle, is actually getting her hair done. And my brides usually get their hair done last. That way they're not sitting around and sweating in it and they're not worried about um, eating and getting it all messed up. Hell yeah. Um, so while she's getting her hair done, her two bridesmaids are actually getting their makeup done. And we actually um, put a camera um, actually right in front of Gracie. There's a flash camera right. Um, so this is your left, sorry. Camera right where Gracie is um, with a nice little soft um, touch of light. Meanwhile, her, her two bridesmaids are getting um, the makeup done. Um, so it's mostly the moment. It's just something that I thought would be really cool to tell a story. Um, and Gracie's trying to look over to see what's going on. And if you ever seen, um, people do makeup before they make silly faces and they, oh yeah, crazy oh, things yeah. Make sure they get their angles and things like that. So Gracie's trying, um, to not look as she's getting her hair done and she's kind of seeing what's going on in the corner of her eye and she's laughing a little bit. Meanwhile, the girls are trying to stay focused and not get distracted either. So it's, um, mostly the moment. Um, with me kind of just, you know, um, trying to not intrude too much and let it happen. So when you <laughs> see something, so I imagine you like are walking around the room, like see the scene, immediately think like, oh, this would be cool if I had her like in the middle of the two people. So like, did you see the picture before you took it and then put the light there or was the light there? And then you're like, oh, the light looks really good at that angle. What I'm came always first? trying to find a way to add light to whatever I'm doing. I think it's a really cool way of drawing in your eye to the subject. Uh, one way of doing that, drawing an eye, is having the person or the subject dead center, which is always good. Yeah. Um, another way is darkening the outside, so it's more like a tunnel effect, so you're looking right in the middle. And then lastly, there's always um, find, finding where the light's coming from and trying to enhance that light to really capture all three. Um, so I walk in there, do a walk around, I kind of see what's going on, and I kind of see a picture of my head already. And it's always, how do I make this photo better or this idea better in my head? If I could have done it differently, I probably would have moved that um, mirror or used that mirror right in the middle of them. But like I said, it was kind of the moment. Um, but no, I, I do a, I do a quick walkthrough and kind of see what's going on and try to intrude and then just see it in my head and then take a quick snap and kind of look at that and be like, okay, that looks good, but it can be better and kind of figure out how I can do that. Very cool. I like, yeah, that's cool. That's a cool freaking picture. Yeah, I saw I, I, I saw it and I shot it and right away I knew it was, it was really good. There's a yeah. few of these frames in a row. <laughs> I think there's actually one of Gracie actually looking over her shoulder and seeing what's going on and the girls are laughing. It's, it's really good. It's a really good time. So Number two. The yes. ring. The ring picture. The rings. <laughs> All right, so <sighs> have you like seen something like this before? So I do a lot of research when it comes to um, going somewhere and shooting for the first time in a venue and I always make up ob objectives for myself for um, the day, whether it's trying to find a way to shoot better details or to shoot the reception better or um, find a way to really make the table details and cars and things pop like that. So for this picture, I um, was looking at a way to really step away from the ordinary uh, rings in a box picture. 
Um, and I had seen something similar to this to where um, we had really uh, shell depth of field and these rings really popping. And sometimes you see photos all over the place and people do it in a matter of 20, 30 minutes to do it in an hour or something. I didn't have this kind of time for the yeah, photo sure. I wanted. So I thought about um, what's a good way to kind of um, really keep the focus on the rings, but also um, use the background to my advantage. So it was a kind of a mixture of um, seeing something that I've seen before and then also figuring out once again, how can I make it better? And that's uh, what led me over to this. It's photo. dude, it's beautiful. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Thank it's, you. It's so beautiful. I mean, just how thing that's how clear the actual rings are compared yeah. to, it's just, <laughs> It was it's it was beautiful. a nice day out too. I think this was in May of 2018. I want to say so it was midday, 12 o'clock maybe, and it was a nice, beautiful, bright day. And we got lucky. We have this light coming from her left, um, which really makes her the rings and the the big ring on that side kind of pop a little bit, make it stand it out. Pops. Um, it pops. It it definitely pops. And it was really cool, and I saw it, and it it just looks really cool. I was really proud of it. That picture just blows my mind. I showed it to her right away, and this is very little retouching. She saw it right out of the camera, and she loved it. And I was like, there's times where you take a photo, and right away, without touching it, you know it's fantastic. And that was one of those moments. We took it, we shot it, <laughs> she saw it, and she was like, I believe in you a thousand percent. I always did, and you were just fantastic. Dude, and is, like the rest of the day is like, yeah, she probably doesn't even genius. notice you're there anymore. Um, <laughs> have you seen the, uh, the Secret Life of Walter Mitty? No, I have not. Uh, watch do you know the do, do you know about i know it? of it with ben stiller i think right <laughs> yeah but there's a moment where this the photographer he's chasing after is like about to take this crazy picture of something like an animal mm -hmm. and he doesn't take it and he's like why don't you take it and he's like sometimes like i just want to live outside of my lens and just focus on the moment and stuff so i can appreciate that it made me think of that <laughs> but watch that movie but picture three of the okay. bubbles Talk to me. The bubbles. So, send offs are my favorite. And, end of the night. End of the night. It's one last way to um, have one giant moment with everyone that's still left. And we talked about send offs for a while. Uh, this is Alex and Ronit, who um, had a traditional um, Orthodox Jewish wedding, and they wanted to do sparklers at first, but because of where we were, I don't think it was loud or something like that. So we had sure. to kind of find a different way to do something. Um, and she said bubbles. And right away I thought, okay, that'd be interesting. It'd be really cool to do. And we get to it. And usually we kind of, I kind of tell all the guests and things, we're going to do a send off. Please come outside and get ready. We do these things. And the guest knows bubbles are getting ready to go. <laughs> and I'm getting some test shots. Um, and it's, it's pretty dark at this time. It's maybe. Right. Yeah. And 11 o'clock. Yeah. And I have um, one of the bridesmaids kind of help me out. And I always tell the bridesmaids, I may need you for something. If you don't mind helping me, I appreciate it. And she was like, yeah, sure, no problem. So you can't see her in this picture, but I had her trail the bride and groom out. And she has a flash behind her. And I'm telling her, kind of hold the flash at your waist maybe or, or their waist so that um, I can't see you and kind of duck down so you're not behind the couple directly or she right. could have been right in the middle. So you can't see her, but she was fantastic. She was <laughs> behind the couple. She was up here. She was down here, you know, over the place. And um, I pretty much told them to walk out to kind of, you know, see what was going on. And they walked out and you think of it couldn't be one thing, but actually seeing it um, as a couple and seeing, I mean, their bubbles everywhere. These people, we're blowing their hearts out for these bubbles. There are thousands, <laughs> millions all over the place and they walk out and they can't believe it. I can't believe it. Um, and with the way the flashes were going off in the background, my flash is going off. You have all these colors in the bubbles. You have the blues and the reds and the yellows all so reflecting off each, other, off each <laughs> other. And um, they were, they were in awe by it at first and they almost forgot to kiss because they literally were just enjoying being out there and someone finally yelled, kiss her. So um, he pulls her, he pulls him, and they go for a kiss. And as they're kissing, their bottom right, you can, you can tell there's some bubbles popping. 
as they're kissing and I'm just snapping as this is going through. And there's a few photos in the frame where some pop on their head, on their hips. Um, and just, it just lit it up. It was, it was beautiful. So each pot, like there's, you have like multiple pictures where there's like different, like spraying kind of, I was going to say when you were finished talking, that spot right behind the guy is so cool. Yeah. (laughs) Like just, it's like, It it was really cool. Yeah. It's so cool. So I can imagine it looking even like cooler in different spots too, but even the way that it's like blue down there. Right. I just love that. I mean, it was, it was a dark night and that we had all the things we needed to, but just literally the bubbles, just the colors and the bubbles. The colors are, just, are crazy. You, you can't plan that, you know, there, yeah, the blues and the pinks and just everything. It's, it's fantastic. So, so I, I loved it. You could see the colors in the bubbles. Like you could, it was, eye. to the eye, you could see it. It was, it was fantastic. All right. I was going to say that would also be pretty cool if you looked in the camera and you were like, Oh my God, they're all colorful. I showed it to them and they, they loved it also. So just, oh, how you know, could you not love that? That picture's insane. Yeah. With send offs and stuff too, it's usually kind of quick. So you got to make sure your settings are right and you're ready to go. But this one, there's times where you just feel like it's, it's all working out. Even if you didn't do anything, like it just, the moment is perfect. And it's, it just, it's there for you to observe, not even to adjust. It's just, it's ready for you. The lights going around in the circle what is going like how what is that could so like I explain this <laughs> can you or is it so like a magician trick i won't give the secrets to this photo because it's something i'm i'm still working on improving and um, magician never reveals I, the secrets yeah something like that um but literally this is um this is taken at the end of the night and i like to do things that are very simple but try to make sure they're done perfectly one of the things we did here for this photo, this is a, a backlit photo, meaning the main light source is behind the couple. Yeah. Usually it's placed maybe um, four feet behind the bride and groom. And usually I place it into the groom's uh, chest so that when it hits him, it kind of blossoms and blooms and gives him a nice little um, rim light, um, accent light, and just enough to where you can see their details and kind of get a hint of color. So with this one here, it's, it's a backlight. It's pretty much the room is, is pitch black with the exception of a few lights, as you can see yeah. um, in the background. We have uh, Maggie and Gary close their eyes so that I'm not blinding them as I'm shooting these photos. And we just shoot a couple of these and we kind of adjust the light as we need to so that it's not too bright, so it's not too dark. And then we kind of um, move the light back and forth as we need to to kind of get it right where we want it to be. So that spiral light thing, is that like a technique or is that something? This can be are, done are multiple like the, ways. Yeah, this is actually the lights that um what is in that, the background. Is it called something? No, no, you can, you can make lights like this. You can use lights like this with um, chandeliers. You can use, this is like a light in the staircase or something. So it's a matter of kind of just finding um, similar light sources and things and kind of taking a shot and another shot. And using yeah, it's freaking so cool. These are definitely more of your artistic ones. <laughs> this one too. Yeah. So with this one here, this is also um, a backlit photograph. We placed a couple um, against the wall and then we used um, a light once again, about four feet from them and they're in front of that light and we have a blue um, gel on the flash so it's off camera technique with the flash behind the couple between the couple and the walls of flash so there's you know plenty of space and then you shoot that um flash into the wall so that it blossoms against the wall and gives that nice um, yeah. color if you did it without a flash or without a gel it, it'd be like a whitish bluish color depending on what color, color your flash is so we throw the blue gel on there so that it gives them a nice blue um hue in the background um just in the it's, couple kind of yeah i i started so to and crazy I, it was, man <laughs> i'm so glad it worked out um it's, but you kind of um give them enough space so they have their outlines still available you can still see um john and stacy you see their outlines and her hair and his face and the nose so you know it's two people not just a singular <sighs> blob or something um and then you just try to find some interesting lights to, to shoot through or um, to layer with or something. And you just um, shoot it and adjust. It looks like it's out of a Disney movie. Yeah. Like, sh- <laughs> like they, if they started moving and dancing and the like light followed them dancing. Yeah. Well, thanks. I mean, I, I think 
their their colors were blue and I think it was blue and orange. I want to say blue and yellow. So I think the colors we picked for the lighting kind of complemented it, and also blue yeah. and orange are complements to themselves. So they kind of add some contrast and pop and really add some depth to the photo. This one actually, so this one I can uh, explain if you're familiar with um, film photography or double exposures. This photo actually I yeah, took, I this is actually three photos in one. And this is all done with um, the camera. It's not Photoshop, it's not Lightroom, it's three photos done um, overlaying each other. So the first one we take is this actually of candles. This is actually um, a table with candles. Okay. And that they're was my actually first question. yeah, it's just a table, with, <laughs> black table with linen, and three three or four candles on each side, kind of angled in, mm -hmm. so that it once again directs your eye to the middle of the couple. And I first shot it while they were on the dance floor dancing. So I usually have. Um, on the on the dance floor for their first dancing things, I'll have off camera lights in the corners, um, and then I'll kind of sit in a place that has the best lighting and shoot some really dramatic angles. For this one here, I have the black table in front of me. I have the three or four. I think it's four candles. I want to say four, four candles um, lined up, pointing towards a couple, and I have the flash. Usually, it's up high and pointing straight down the couple, but I have it kind of at their waist, um, and then I'm just shooting through. To the couple. So the first photo I shot was um, with just the lights itself. So it's all entirely black and it's just the candles. Mm -hmm. And then I took the camera, turned it upside down and shot it again. So I had the top and bottom layers. And the last one, I just shot through the couple with the backlight. Yeah. So, and then over in the camera, you just click three buttons and overlays them and that's, that's what we get. Oh, that's so badass. Yeah. <laughs> it's so cool man it sounds like a lot of work but once you do it once or twice it's actually pretty easy it's a matter of just kind of knowing how to shoot it and then what you want to do it's crazy all right this i think is my favorite picture <laughs> i've ever of yours this is my this I hope yeah. it's a good one well obviously it's a good one <laughs> it's not like a joke one with you like drinking starbucks on a pumpkin or something uh this one this one, as you can tell, it's the Lincoln Memorial. Yes. Um, and it's in Washington, D.C., in case someone doesn't know where the <laughs> photo is. Is this um, a, what, what is this? Is this a, like an engagement? Like, this is an engagement session. This is Ken and Monica's engagement session. This happened 2017, I believe. And this is um, right at dusk, right at kind of sunset um, in D.C. And for this one, um, I just, for me, I, I believe, I still think I was still pretty fairly new to photography at this time. You know, I'm always finding a way to not just stay the same, but kind of to evolve and get better and get better with each photo I do. So for this one, once again, it's, it's backlit. The uh, flash is behind the couple, maybe, um, three or four people behind them. Like I said, I try to find a photo that I like and try to improve on each time or how I can make it better. So flash behind them three or four feet behind them and then with this one it's a longer exposure typically i typically i shoot photos between um one two fifth of a second and one two hundredth of a second if i can so it's kind of fast enough to catch people walking or right. running but um this one i shot a little slower because what i'm actually doing is trying to um get some shutter drag i'm trying to pull the colors of the environment across the entire screen um, so the way I do that is I have that couple right in the middle with the flash behind them. And then I'm taking the camera, I'm holding it very still for maybe one twentieth of a second of a shutter speed, I believe, something like that. So I'm really slow. Mm. I'm just kind of panning across as I'm shooting. So you're physically dragging it. Yeah. So I'm trying to keep my body nice and um, level with the ground and just kind of just turning my body and shooting it. And that's hopefully getting that nice um, dragging of colors across the screen. You can see um, some of the you yellow green guys it. in the middle. <laughs> um, and also, if you kind of hold it at one spot, if you kind of stay at one spot longer than the other, so if you start here, hold for a second, then drag it, and then hold it here again, you can kind of get those colors on the outside to pop and not drag them as much. So it was a little bit of trial and error. Um, and then trying to figure out how exactly to get the flash to go off when you want it to. Yeah. So... Um, 
it was just having them believe in me and be patient and then trying to make it fast enough to get the drag um slow enough to get the colors and people out of the way and things so it, it took a bit of practice to get um but we shot it maybe in 15 20 minutes and the final product i mean speaks it's, for itself she loved it's it it's a piece of art <laughs> uh, lights like right right in the middle like in the very center the small yeah. couple small lines are really cool <laughs> and the way the lights right at the top like drag like perfectly in like a straight line yeah i mean they're, they're, like i said before like this time where you just it works out for itself and that was one of those times it's, yeah, yeah man, this is this is an old photo. I'm, <laughs> I don't, I forget about it. But I haven't seen it in a while. But <laughs> this has always I, been. I mean, you take very good photos, but this has always been thanks. my favorite photo that you've taken before. Thank you. I'll tell them that they they love it also. I mean, of course. Her and her um, husband are politicians, and she has this "We the People" tattoo on her back, so it is very fitting. Well, thank That's you. it, man. I should have said this earlier, but Jay Sasu Photography recent sponsor of an ep- of a past episode yeah so glad to have you on watching. as well well thanks hope, for having me i'm sure you got a ton of business out of it i hope so i've got a lot of emails <laughs> and things so but you know with corona going on and things it's a little tough right now but i've gotten some, some things so thank you again for having me and featuring me and yeah man i appreciate you coming to talk about some some of your artwork yeah man some of the things that makes you a uh, unique artist yeah, dude. thank you see you all right later bye, bye.